everybody. Good morning, I suppose. Hello, friends. Yes. Okay. 4 a.m. What you doing up at 4 a.m.? Watching my stream, I suppose. So I did go and sort my staff off stream, and by sort I mean I removed everybody and then I auto sorted them. So I think it's slightly better than it was before. And uh, there's something else I was gonna say. side missions right now. I don't think Mr. a doorknob has not run away again. I don't know, because this is the first time I've streamed Peace Walker at this hour. So I don't know if I'm gonna have people around for co-op, but let me know if you are available for co-op. Because then we might do some more dragon hunting. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. I know I have a bunch of. strange love things. The to enemy has to. launched an attack now that they know where our base is. The time for hiding is over. We have no choice but to fight back. Be sure to select equipment that focuses on defensive power rather than camouflage. Who knows how long this all will last, so do not forget the rations. But as we are on the defense, we have the advantage. There's no reason to panic. The enemy will be on the move, so they cannot stay hidden forever. A sniper rifle will be a safe means of slowing their advance, depending on the sniping position, that is. We could also plant mines and C4 along projected movement routes. I do not really like fighting dirty, but protecting our compass is more important. Alright, time to blow those bozos to smithereens. Hello? Your PS3 is in New York and you're in Tokyo. Why didn't you bring your PS3 to Tokyo with you? It's what everyone should bring with them. On any trip anywhere. Hey, thanks for the follow law of zips. Alright, strange love. What do you have to yammer on about? With current technology, AI are inevitably enormous in size. But as circuit integration continues to advance, they will become even smaller. As small as human brains, and perhaps smaller than that. And in the meantime, robotics will continue to advance as well. To the point where we can create androids. Robots that resemble humans. And then... And then what? Well, I don't need to spell it out for you, do I? Don't tell me you're Sexy thinking of robots. making an android imitation of the boss. Surely the thought has crossed your mind as well. Of one day being reunited with her? Enough! I don't want any part of it. I see. I didn't mean to offend you. In reality, AI is more likely to evolve in the opposite direction anyway. It's a little too poignant right now. I don't want to get mistaken for the infamous PS3 Gaijin. Well, that only would happen if you go to Nagoya. The opposite direction? What does that mean? More and more, AI are becoming systems that specialize in mass information processing. Without human intelligence, thought, or emotion. A machine that has no individualism or sense of self, but rather behaves as a collective, exhibiting the qualities of a society. Like a beehive. Yes. It aggregates data collected by individuals and determines how the collective will act. 
just as honeybees travel between the hive and flowers. The key to achieving that will be networking AI together. I don't know how to say this, but that kind of gives me the creeps. But if your goal is to That's control to society, it. it's the better model to use. It lets you filter data, disseminate only what you want disseminated. Of course, I myself have no interest in an AI without a shred of life to it. Don't date robots! Dr. Strangelove is just... It's just that guy with the Marilyn Monroe bot. Earlier, you called the mammal pot a butterfly. Not a pupa or a cocoon, but an imago. Yes, the AI that came before the mammal pot were works in progress. Works in progress? They were enough to keep the frame running, but not enough to make decisions about nuclear retaliation. They weren't quite complete. They were pupae. Only when I added the boss's data did the AI take on its true form, becoming a butterfly and taking flight. And that's why the nose art on Peace Walker was a butterfly. I gave the mammal AI the code name BS Imago. BS is short for boss. You know what else it's short for? Strange love? Huh? Huey called that gigantic unmanned chopper a chrysalis. Is that another one of your AI code names? Yes, you're referring to the TJ Chrysalis 6000. There's also the GW Pupa 5000, the TR Cocoon 7000. I get it. A hovercraft type and a treaded type. And those letters on the front. TJ, GW, or whatever. Those are initials. Correct. The initials of the American presidents whose faces are carved into Mount Rushmore. Then you're missing one. I assigned I that one I to the, the reptile pond. the face was carved into Mount Rushmore. Aurelia 8000. Aurelia. Another word for chrysalis. A pupa just before it emerges. All of the initials, except for BS, were of Coldman's choosing. I chose mine from the storied ranks of British royalty. MS, AV, EW. What do those stand for? You can't guess. Why, Mary Stewart, Alexandrina Victoria, and Elizabeth those Windsor. Those girls names. Uh, all queens, of course. No thanks, Huey. I'd rather I'd rather make out with my boss bot. Exactly. That's probably why she dumped him. He dumped her. Wait, she dumped him, yeah. Are you familiar with the film 2001 A Space Odyssey? Uh, I've heard of it, but... Uh... <laughs> of course not. I didn't expect you to be cultured enough to appreciate such things. Yeah, thanks. Anyway... 2001 features an AI called HAL, a highly advanced system that controls an exploration spacecraft. It can converse with people and even play chess. Huh. Now, where have I heard that before? The way Hal was portrayed was truly superb. How so? Hal is given secret orders that not even the ship's captain knows about. Naturally, he's not allowed to divulge them to the crew. The stress of it causes Hal to crack. Crack? Go crazy. Though there are those who interpret it differently. One by one, Hal kills off the crew until the captain finally shuts it down. The film offers amazing insights into AI, their growth, their utility, their faults, and their fear of death. Well, you must have found it useful in your research then. Must you always be so utilitarian? It doesn't matter whether or not it's useful. What matters is that it inspired me. Then it was useful. Never mind. The portrayal of Hal wasn't the only wonderful thing about the film. It was full of hints about the future of human evolution. Truly, a film for the ages. Then it was useful. Thanks for the follow, Curly Brace. Alright, time to talk about Strangelove's crush. Strangelove, when did you and the boss first meet? Did she ever tell you about what she saw in space? Yeah. I saw the same thing along with her. The Soviets beat America into space with Sputnik, and so America rushed to be first in manned spaceflight. NASA used her as their top-secret guinea pig, launching her deep into the cold blackness of space. I took part in the project, as a scientist. You were there with her? Yes. For a brief time. We were 
One and the same, she and I. We sought each other out, completed each other. Did you know that inside every woman there's a universe? And that we are able to sense this in each other? We connected because of our empathetic female brains. It's true. As time went As on, a woman can I began to have doubts about offering such a noble soul as sacrifice. Why would they... Why did she have to... The flight test was a narrow success, and she miraculously made it back alive. But her mind and body were horribly mangled, and there was nothing I could do for her. We were no longer one and the same. She went away, and I, having nothing else to live for, immersed myself in AI research, hoping that no one would ever have to make her sacrifice again. I never knew. It's not really worth knowing. We were ships passing in the night. Oh, you missed That's it. all. I will turn Perhaps someday I'll up. tell you the long version, if you're interested. You know how that is. That was quite a warm welcome you gave me at the base in Costa Rica. Sorry about that. But I simply had to know. The boss's final act. Yes. By inputting her thoughts and actions into the AI, I was imbuing it with her mind. The only thing I couldn't understand was her final act. Operation Snake Eater. Official history says she betrayed her homeland and defected to the enemy and was killed by you. But it didn't make sense. The boss would be the last person on Earth to betray her country. It was logically inconsistent. It was, wasn't it? That internal inconsistency prevented the AI from activating properly. Just as Hal malfunctioned in the film, I understood the reasoning, but I had to have proof. Proof of her final act, her true intentions, one way or another. So you tried to squeeze it out of me, huh? As a matter of fact, I did. Your silence was the very answer I was looking for. I bet she would get along with paramedic. They're both movie dorks and they're both you know, kind of evil. We can be hot evil scientists together. That white horse the boss rode. The Andalusian, yes. How'd it get to Costa Rica? I went looking for it. It was her final witness. Even if it couldn't speak, I found it and brought it here. Where? I thought for sure it'd be blown to ashes by those migs. I searched the ends of the earth for that horse. And found it at last in a horse market in Britain. Wow. Britain? Are you saying it came all the way over the Ural Mountains, through Europe, and across the English Channel? Who knows, really? Perhaps someone horse took it there. And Wait, swam to the thought never occurred to you that it might be a different Andalusian that only looks the same? I can't prove it. Or rather, I couldn't. What do you mean? You should know, best of all, that horse wouldn't let anyone ride it. And believe me... I nearly killed myself trying. The only one it allowed on its back was you. That was the proof. Though I hate to admit it. And to think, I ran it to its death. But in that last run, it regained the glory of its youth, using the last of its strength to pursue its former master. Any horse would wish for such a fine end. What do you make of Peace Walker's final act? I recreated her thought patterns exactly. It was exactly what she would have done. The world's most empathetic mind weighed the past, the future, and the entire world, and decided not to retaliate. Merely knowing that is enough for me. So, what you're saying is, we don't need deterrence to have peace? I didn't say that. What's important is that we wish for peace. MSF needs a way to protect itself from the might of nations. Survival requires pragmatic thought and action. But you must still retain your ideals. If the gap between reality and those ideals ever leads you to lose them, I doubt MSF will survive. Yeah, all Snake ever wanted to do was eat that horse. Um... I remembered what I was gonna say. Uh, my last stream, my controller was like super wigging out. 
So I saw one of those hacks where you open it up and put the little piece of tape in. So hopefully, uh, my controller won't do that again. Hello, Snake. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hear you've been causing quite the ruckus in Nicaragua. Nothing much to report from my end. The legacy is being put to good use. Or so they tell me. But enough with the small talk. There's something I need to tell you. You saw the photo that came with this tape, right? The boss gave that to me. Ten years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have told you sooner. Yeah, I, forgot what the photo I probably was. should have told you right away. But sending it to you hasn't been an easy decision to make. It's taken me ten years. Once you've heard what I have to say, you'll understand why. That photo belonged to her. I know what you're thinking. What does she have to do with this? You've probably seen it a hundred times in the press already. Obviously, it's of the Mercury 7, the first group of American astronauts, the heroes of yeah, Project Mercury. That. But there were actually eight people in that photo. One of them was edited out, erased, without a trace. That eighth astronaut, the one airbrushed out of existence, that was her, Snake. Now why did they need to keep her existence a secret? What were they trying to hide? The answer goes back even further. Seventeen years ago. It was the height of the Cold War. The Eastern and Western blocs were racing to develop space technology to match their nuclear arsenals. In 1957, the Soviet Union launched Sputnik 1, the first artificial satellite. The Americans were stunned. They'd been led to believe their country led the world in science and technology. That shock quickly turned into fear. If the Russians had the know-how to launch a satellite into space, they could use it to launch a nuclear missile, too. Frantic, the U.S. threw everything it had into the space race. The following year, the Army succeeded in launching the first American satellite, Explorer 1. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration was established that fall, and Project Mercury with it. The goal was to send a man into space, and seven men were chosen as pilot candidates. The media dubbed them the Mercury Seven. They were immediately hailed as national heroes, icons of Western space exploration. But after Explorer, America suffered a series of failed rocket launches. Desperate, the government made a fateful decision. Unable to wait for its space program to mature, they'd steal the Soviets' technology, at the same time sabotaging their space program. You know better than anyone how hard a mission that was. The Soviet space program was shrouded in secrecy. Recovering that information would be no easy task. Using the help of an insider, they'd insert a sleeper agent into the research institute, or else recruit one of those insiders to do the job for them. And if necessary, the mission leader would have to go in and sort things out themselves. Someone was needed with experience, knowledge, and superior intuition. And the only one for the job was the boss. The president himself asked for her by name. He needed someone who could be trusted with the fate of a nation. Who else to turn to but the hero of the Second World War? It was June 1959. So you see, Snake. That's why she left. That was the top secret mission that took her from you. But her selection ruffled a few CIA feathers. They didn't appreciate the president going over their head like that. The mission was tough enough already, and now the CIA was dragging its feet. She couldn't get anything out of them. No manpower, no information. Left to her own devices, the boss made a decision she knew would come back to haunt her. She decided to tap into the Philosopher's Network. And that's when the wheels of fate began to turn. 
Okay, yeah, that was pretty long. And there's... Oh my goodness, there's seven of them? Uh, maybe we'll space those out. Alright, let's do something. Let's go shoot a bunch of guys. Combat. Need a, a set of sniper rifle. Sounds good. Explodey thing, that sounds good. No Fultons. No Fultons allowed. What the heck? Hey, I got my stealth mat. I'm gonna bring burnt ration with me. Um Shinty chips. Field. The So wait, is this my guy I gotta protect? Shooting. Do I gotta protect the banana man? Is that what I'm doing?
with that area. Head for the goal. No. No way. I fire sniper rifles standing up always. Let's see. What the heck? Buildbox purgatory. Snake, the Dornoff has disappeared from his Again? cell. What? You're kidding, right? Afraid not. You got a new mission. Find the Dornoff. Probably jumped in the laundry basket. How does he keep doing that? Ooh. Banana. Didn't I already have a banana? Oh, I had been developing it. Bananas for everybody. Go, oh, banana. emissions on this. S rank, A plus, A, A. he hiding? The, the second time we found him he was just like lying down. Oh, I think the first time he was just like crouching in a corner. He was like Blair Witch in it. Snake, Zadornov's disappeared from his cell again. Find him! I wouldn't have to find him if he stopped losing him. Stealth. to me to figure it out. Find the doorknob and bring him back here with Fulton recovery. Drop a balloon on that bad boy. Somebody there? Uh oh. Hi. It's me. <laughs> Fulton recovery your helicopter is complete. Yeah, these missions are fun. I think it's it's amusing finding his horrible hiding spots. <laughs> oh, that's a guy. Somebody's getting CQC'd. Fulton recovery hey. subject confirmed uh. onboard helicopter. Start Where's talking. the door now? <gasps> Hello, welcome to 
the stream, Sean. Thanks for the prime sub. Oh, that's a guy. Start talking. Help. Start talking. Help. Start talking. Help. Excited about Ghost Trick, good. Everyone should be. Yeah, they're putting Ghost Trick on Switch, man. That's gonna have some fancy new stuff on it. And finally, nobody has an excuse not to play it. They're bringing the um, Oracle games. Hungry. have my sound indicator. Why would I, <laughs> I don't I don't need sensors. What do I need sensors for? I got eyes. I got my feral instincts. Thanks for the follow, Disaster Millennial. I can smell him. Just like I can smell that ration over there. I can smell that bozo hiding over there. <laughs> hey, look! I found him! Yeah, 
time. My snacks equipped. Find the doorknob and bring him back here with Fulton recovery. I already did. All right, this time let's not be stupid, or at least try to be Something less stupid. Nothing here. Nothing here. Jump on this guy. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Get up! Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Oh, he there saw he me is. do a tumble. How are these guys good at CQC? Who trained them? I thought I invented CQC. <laughs> Okay, we're starting over. That was really bad. They're aqua troops. Find the doorknob and bring him back here with Fulton recovery. Somebody there? Oh. And recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Whoa, Who gosh, are you? dang it. There's a guy down here. Yeah. Ah. Is there a way to tell if I like choke him out all the way? Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. Somebody there? Hmm. 
Nothing here. That's right. Get back down, stupid. Sleepy, sleepy. Sorry, show up if they get knocked out by choking. Go this way. Oh, bottom of cliff. Is this a shortcut? That's a shortcut. So I found him last time, right? Somebody there? Huh, nothing. Nothing. Uh. Is this where I found them last time? Yeah, I think so. Or... Somebody there? Oh. Huh, Is somebody there? Gosh! He's here. So sick of these guys. Send reinforcements! Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Crowd's walking away. Is that stupid guy? Oh, is this way? I remember walking over this. Hey, thanks for the follow, Matt. Wait. Oh, wait, no. That was when I came through this way. Just kidding. Hey, that one guy's still napping. Oh, yeah, there's that ration I found. Something I could do. Be strong, Snake. Oh, there he is. How do you look at me? Gosh! How does he freaking see me? Okay, we're taking this guy. And I'm running. Yeah, I'm good at this game. Everyone knows that. Everyone watches my stream to see really, really high level gameplay. Okay, because yeah, because other guys would like think they see me and then they'd see me, but that guy just like instantly saw me. I like the guys who don't trust their eyeballs. They're just like, huh? Alright, here we go. Who's gonna see me? That guy? Didn't I kidnap that guy already? Go, 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 go. Easy. I knew you could do it. Piece of cake, right? Hello, Ringo Buns. Welcome.
I did do it. I did it my own way. Look at that, I got a freaking A rank. Your face, everybody. And I got five soldiers. Found our friend, Kaz. Damn it. And I was so Great. close. Great. Good work, Snake. Gamer. I am pretty good. of sunglasses do you think Kaz has on hand? Do you think when he takes his sunglasses off there's another pair of sunglasses underneath? Great Dane. I'm no good with people. Please look after me. <laughs> ah, same Great Dane. I feel that. Sidewinder. Drinks later? It's on me. Sidewinder, go take care of Great Dane. Cabbage White? That's not an animal. Tasmanian Devil. Check out the map to see where exits are. <laughs> Use maps if you're lost. Wow, good advice. The only weird weapon I got is the banana. Cabbage White is a kind of butterfly. Oh, it's nice. I am Jozu. Tote Mo Jozu. Oh, I just got some new outfit. I didn't see what it was though. Oh god, they're all S ranks now. Yikes. S plus. S. guys are pretty good. Hey, there was a guy named Cabbage White on their team. Your Cabbage White versus my Cabbage White. Okay. More Fulton recovery. Sure, let's do that. I'm, wait, oops, not main ops, X drops. Good at Fulton Recovery. Let's get this mission My started. Major. Complete the mission and proceed to the Fulton Recovery major Point so Fulton we can get you back alive and well. Banana. Good luck out there. Objective is to retrieve the researchers. Up there. Just meowing. Whoa. That guy doing? Coming over here. Yeah, come over here. I dare ya. No? No? Thanks for the follow, speaks this guy. What's he doing? What are you doing? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Recovery subject confirmed onboard helicopter. 
dummy thick. Go to sleep. Fulton recovery to helicopter is complete. You mean you haven't found the captured researchers yet? Shut up, Huey. Chill out. You come out here. You come out here and do this, Huey. Recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. I believe in Huey. I think he would make a great soldier. Researchers at oh, it's just one. I didn't hear you say researchers. Ooh, look at that. Secret documents. Sure nice of these guys to leave all their secret documents lying around. This we can develop a little baby metal gear to ride in. So many balloons I got six, that's a lot. Plenty of balloons to go around. Thanks for the follow comics. Fulton recovery helicopter is complete. Is that him? No, that's nothing. Yeah, I'm honestly kind of surprised Huey hasn't made himself like a cool robot. Zone. We'll pick you up there. Get the recovery zone at. That way. Is there a 
ladder somewhere. There it is. Balloons for everybody. Why everyone loves big boss. Ah, uh, you jerkwad. I literally was freaking done with this stupid mission and your stupid face. Get out of here. Not even abducting you. You don't deserve it. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements now. Stay out of sight Look at me. Up the alert. <laughs> Idiots. Look at them all running the wrong way. Now simply make your way to the recovery zone. I can't do it yet. I have to wait for my Stay thing to go off. off Amanda. Alert. I see you've completed your mission. Now mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. I'm impressed by the magic Bolton technology that allows them to go through ceilings. It's impressive. Mother base has some grade A tech dudes. B, B for balloon. I mean, they invented bananas and Doritos and Mountain Dew. And Fultons. Those are some crazy guys. Alright. Dab chick. Look at that face. My family. My family dab chick. Here, cat. Think you can take advantage of my skills? No, because you got weak ass stats. Catfish. Boss, did you know there's some kind of miracle gun that makes the sky do your bidding? Think we could make one here? Ban banana? This is, he's a food technician. Banana gun. You are great as hope, boss. Don't let anybody take your hope from us. I may not be strong, but I'll fight till the end. Well, you got a lot of whatever that stat is. Carrier. Well now, looks like my boys gave you some trouble. Sorry about that. I'll make it up to you. Here, take this. Take what? What is he giving me? Here, take this. Follows to the wall, boys! <laughs> Here, take this. It's a banana. <laughs> Boss, he says Santa Claus is real. There's no such thing as Santa, is there? Of course there is. What? Basilis, whose side are you on? You better not side with Huey on that one. Breaks later, it's on me. Cool. Balls to the walls, boys. Santa real. Thanks for the follow, righteous ranger. Wait, what? Like, honestly, what did that guy give me? Oh, I think I moved him. He's like, here, take this. <laughs> Just, what did he hand me? <laughs> there was that photo that Eva gave me. Why do they doubt the existence of Santa? Because they've been talking to Huey. Huey's poisoning everyone against me. He 
feed me crabs? I hope not. I don't want crabs. Yeah, if I can navigate the menu, anyone can do it. Cargo truck demolition. Blow up all the cargo trucks. Wow, that sounds fun. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and How did I escape the, the crab? And they, they didn't so do a ladder lottery this time. Well. I think they just Good asked teachers there. who wanted one. Those crabs are worth like 50 bucks, but like, I don't want a crab. I take the 50 bucks. Thanks for the follow, Fossil Moth. <laughs> he handed Boss a piece of paper that says one free back rub. That's a good soldier right there. Crabs are so difficult to like take apart though. Like if it's just like crab legs or something, but like a full crab? Do you know how hard it is to disassemble a full crab? Especially when you don't have any crab disassembling equipment. Take the crab and sell it for 50 bucks. Yeah. Alright, I got blow up trucks. I think I need missiles. going to take more than small arms fire to take down a truck. Some kind of rocket's your best bet. Another tactic to try would be setting off an explosion from afar. You could also call in a support, Ooh, a support strike, strike if you can manage to tag them with a marker. I don't like C4. Oh, I have a strike marker. Line markers. Yeah, let's try this. We'll see what happens. throwing supply markers. I just want to place them. But he keeps throwing them. You should be able to see the road from the bridge. Destroy the truck that's driving up that road. I guess I can just like throw it like that. Barriers. Oh, there's weapons. What are those? That's not what I need. I need big rockets. Oh my 
god, hurry up and load your rocket. Oh no! Gosh dang it. This is hard. Uh, battle dress. Yeah, that's failure. right. Return to base. Three weapons. Thanks for the follow, cat girl fingies. Let's get this mission started. Complete the mission and pres Okay, oops. Battle. Um, okay. Let's see. Seven, seven. These ones have the most rockets. But that's still not enough. Seven, seven, fourteen. All I can bring is twenty, but there's twenty-five trucks, so maybe I need to go for the explosive barrels. I'll do the explosive barrels first, maybe. Decoy. Alright, I'll try this. Like if you miss a missile, it's like you're screwed. Well, they like you have to time it so you like hit both trucks. You should be able to see the road from the bridge. Oh, that's good. Destroy the truck that's driving up that road. Next. is meowing at a time like this. These trucks just keep coming. Like they're like ten trucks have been blown up in front of them. They just keep sending trucks. Oh, 
No! And left. Trucks are like this time. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, crap! Crap, crap, crap! Go, go, go! Oh my god, okay. Phew. I'm out of bullet. Ah, ah, ah. Go change your gun! not funny. It was horrible. This is the worst day of my life. You're laughing. You should be able to see the road from the bridge. Destroy the truck that's driving up that road. all the rocket launchers. Like, I don't... I don't understand. As long as they do a big boomy, that's all I care about. Oh, you little bugger. Get back here. shots. Oh, that one wasted my barrel though. Good, I'm gonna run out of rockets. Right? Shut up, Miller. All safe in your little helicopter. Bananas eliminated, boss. They're all like, they're like flambéed. Oh, oh, look at that! Beautiful. I'm master. Blowing up truck, master. That's what the boss trained me. First try! S for two banana to shape an S, exactly. Booger. I've seen female soldiers being held prisoner, but I wasn't able to save them. You tell me that. Ooh, 
how to get your hands dirty when at war. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, hurting. Pa, send me in a battle. I can handle it. He's got a C. Sure, why not? I'm a martial arts expert. I know combat sambo, and I'm a fifth degree black belt in karate. CQC? This I gotta see. This I gotta CQC. some more tapes. I don't know if I'm going to listen to another one of those Eva tapes. Those are kind of long. What else we got going on here? Claymore Disarmament. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Here's a rundown of your mission. This one's perfect for a warm-up. Nice and easy. Don't let yourself get lazy, though. Stick to it and get the job done. I just done. blew up 25 trucks. I don't need a warm-up. Claymores are directional anti-personnel landmines. Their blast radius is approximately 70 vara, sending over 700 metal fragments through the air at a 60 degree angle. But since they are directional, you can simply disarm them from their blind side. Get down low and approach the mine from behind. Then deactivate that, and recover up. it. To do this, press the action button when the icon appears. You can use any unused claymores you recover. Can just you can also them? destroy them by shooting them. Just keep your distance or you'll get hit by shrapnel. Best to use a sniper rifle. The only downside is you can forget about using them yourself. Use a blown up claymore mine. Strange love. Is that a code name? No. Just a nickname. Don't tell me you don't recognize it. From Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove? Or how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb? It's a film that came out in 1964. A dark comedy about the absurdity of nuclear deterrence. You were in a movie? No, stupid. <laughs> I got my nickname because of that movie. Why? Because you look like the doctor in the movie? No. That Dr. Strangelove was a man. So? Back when I was at ARPA. I kept a photo of the boss on my desk. I was totally engrossed in my research and showed no interest in the opposite sex. Plus, I had a photo of a woman on my desk. The fools around me turned it into a cruel taunt, calling me strange love. Even for a bunch of shut-ins who never went out to the cinema, that title seemed to ring true with them. Anyhow, in their eyes, homosexuality was something strange. They were incapable of seeing things outside the lens of their own standards. Being strange means you have your own unique point of view. I rather considered it an honor. I do like that she's the one person to just straight up call Big Boss an idiot when everyone else is like licking his boots. He's like, you are stupid, feral, peanut brain man. So, you were with Arpa before you came here, huh? Yes. Back then, it was really the only place I could make a living from my AI research. And before that? I started out at NASA. That's where I met her. When Boss went into space? Yes. It was that incident that turned me away from aerospace engineering. Space is entirely too hazardous a place for human beings. That was why I felt an immediate need to develop AI. As it turned out, rockets later became much safer, and mankind reached the surface of the moon. 
In any event, it was a hollow Cold War victory. When you get down to it, a nuclear missile is just a rocket with a nuclear warhead strapped to it. Thus, taking the initiative in the space race was tantamount to a military show of force. But the budgetary strain was too big for Washington or Moscow to handle. Yes. And then there was the Cuban Missile Crisis and the Vietnam War. And then came detente. Having leapt ahead of the Soviet Union with its moon landing, America shut down the Apollo program in 72. It was around then that ARPA was downsized and renamed DARPA, the D standing for defense. With few prospects for continuing my AI research, Coldman's invitation was a godsend. It was also a chance to have them collect data on her. The end result being this mess. But we did learn something valuable from her. The nobility of peace. Why'd you agree to come here, to Mother Base? You intrigued me. Me? Hold on. You're not planning on modeling your next AI after me. Not a bad God, idea, a but I robot. have no intention of ever again stupid attempting to transplant robot. human thought into machines. Oh, that's a relief. You are the man who inherited the boss's will. You're gathering people around you, even now, shaping them, building a new organization, I'd like to see how it turns out. You're not planning to go back to AI research? I never said such a thing. Of course my work will continue. Here? In my eyes, the growth of MSF as an organization is analogous to the development of the nervous system. The way you become intertwined, stimulate each other, branch out in new directions, is really quite inspirational. Interesting way to put it. Of course, I intend to repay you for your hospitality. The fruits of my research will be at your disposal. Why not assign me to the R&D team? I promise you won't be disappointed. Front line, baby. You and Huey together on the front line. Um, so they sent Big Boss into space, so it would just be like when Homer goes to space. But when the ants got out, he would just eat those the same way he eats the potato chips. Disarm all claymores, okay. Stealth. Bring, um. Sniper rifle. And an RPG. Um. And a banana. I'm gonna disarm them with a banana. Should have brought a radar on this one, huh? Where are the claymores? Oh, they're right over there. All right. Is that where's the behind? Where's the behind on this? Beep. Where's the butt on a claymore? any guys here. I probably don't need to be crouch walking. It's fun. Alright, two more. Here's one. Alright, where's the last one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Master! With that area. Head for the goal. Master Miller, more like Master B. Mission complete. The folks back at Mother Base will be thrilled. 
claymore has a curved shape. Sexy claymore. Look at that S wing music. Rumors of heroism are spreading. Dude, yeah, I already got one of those, buddy. It's at level 47. Yet. I don't have enough parts. actual grinding I'll do that off stream but I'm still working through missions Like one each? Okay. I thought Let's I meant one for started. all of them. I was like, Complete how am I supposed to do that? To the Fulton recovery point so we can get you back alive and well. Good luck out there. A real veteran ought to be able oh, to no, take down multiple enemies. enemies with a single bullet. What? Not by shooting them, but by using oh, it to like set off an explosion. Thing? Find something Checkpoint. flammable, like a gasoline drum, or an unmanned weapon with a full fuel tank. Then shoot it and blow it up. And make sure so it's it takes like a, a few enemies thing. with it. I like how Miller just explains it like it's like easy or something. He's just like, you know, just shoot it with one bullet. What did he say? What gun? My sniper? Is that what it is? Wait, what gun did he say? Or this one? My handgun? M1... M16A1 What's that? Is that a... Oh, rifle? Okay, yeah. I know how to fire an M16. Oh, it's auto-assigned. All right, one bullet. Let's do this. First try. Everybody. Neutralize that security detail. Boom. All of them. <laughs> An explosion? I only got one guy. Out of ammo, huh? Abort mission. Come on back. 
out of ammo, huh? Why'd you send me on this mission with only one bullet cause? I think I have to shoot the middle one. Neutralize that security detail. All of them. Huh? What? How am I supposed to get that guy? That was close. Out of ammo, huh? Abort I think mission. I have to time Come it so on one back. of the robots. The robots have to be like in between the barrels. One bullet more than enough to kill everything that moves. Neutralize that security detail. All of them. Explosion? An explosion? <laughs> Out of ammo, huh? Guess it was too much even for you. We'll put yeah, the operation on Yeah, so I was thinking it has hold. to be like barrel, robot, barrel, robot, barrel. I'm not patient enough for this. This reminds me of like the Kirby quick draw Neutralize game. That security detail. All of them. Come on, robot. Get back over here. Hey! Other robot. Okay, okay. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, uh, no. That wasn't right. An explosion? Out of ammo, huh? I feel like Abort if I wait mission. too long, I'll miss it, back. but it doesn't make any sense. An explosion? Nothing here. Neutralize that security detail. All of them. Okay. Just gotta wait. Just gotta be patient. Just gotta trust the robots are gonna line up properly. Come on, get back here, little robot. Robot, robot. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh my god, this is so stupid. Come on, robot babies. Oh, oh. Ah! <laughs> stupid jerkwad. Why do I freaking stand in front of the barrel like that? Come on back. Alright, so it takes like 45 seconds for them to line up. I'm gonna stand on this one, and maybe I won't accidentally shoot that, that guy this time. All of them. I'm guessing it, they do the same pattern every time. Get out of my way. Don't walk in front of the barrel. There we go. Okay, you're done with that area. Head for the goal. I messed up budget cuts. Mission Sorry, complete. boss. We can only afford one bullet per mission. actually kind of fun. Oh god, not again. Uh, don't tell me. It's the doorknob. Bingo. The guard left his post and the dude Why was gone you when he got leave back. The guard Sounds leave. like the guard needs a guard. He was off with the girls. Boss invited him what to try girls? some of their cooking. He says he loved every second of it. Is that jealousy, cuz? Anyway, there's a new mission waiting for you. 
finds a doorknob snake. Sounds okay, like the guard okay. needs a guard. Cause if the doorknob's gone, how will we open the doors? I got not getting anything. I need new stuff to develop. Come on, R&D team. It's lacking. Oh no, my tank broke! Crap. I only have one tank left. Oh man, I need to go get another tank. Or a helicopter. to see where you're going in real estate. So Chikuketsul in central Heredia. I wouldn't trust my eyes too much if I were you. Now my eyes are fine. Need more tanks. I do need more tanks. I don't feel like getting a tank right now, though. I'm gonna take this tank. Also, is almost dead. Give everyone a little breaky break, so my tank can rest. All right, it's a doorknob. Thanks Snake. for the sub, the Sammy Bits. The disappeared again. Get out there and months. retrieve him. Oof. Alright, it's a doorknob. Where's he hiding this time? The, no the doorknob probably just like hid in the corner and the guard thought he was gone. Find the doorknob snake. The doorknob. Helmet, really? What's going on? Take that off. We're under attack. Oh. We're going to alert status. Whoops. Understood. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Oh, there's some other Rising guy shot. over there. Oh, don't wake your friend up. Was almost Fulton really recovery slick, subject but confirmed right. on board helicopter. Fulton recovery helicopter right. is complete. This is HQ. This is patrol. Where the hell did the doorknob go this time? I'm sick of him and his walks. I mean his walks. The enemy should still be nearby. Are you letting him take walks? Wait. So doorknob's like, can I go on a walk? And Miller's like, yeah, go for it. Oh, Bo's 
Lasso Town. Just take a nap. That's all. This is sweepy boy. Which guys are scouts? Fulton recovery subject confirmed on board helicopter. I know how to hold helicopter. people up. I know how to use a banana. Come in. Come on. We're being shot at. Going you to a not being status. shot at. Understood. Dispensing reinforcements. You little jerk. Huh. Somebody there. Wow, that was close. <laughs> Undertaker? That area is not part of the mission. Miller, if this you know where he's freaking hiding, why don't you tell me? Patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. Miller's making me freaking play where is Waldo and apparently he knows where he's hiding. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Oh, there's so many freaking guys. Ah, gosh, get out of here. Yeah, you want more? Understood. Eliminate all evil. There's a guy over there. Of Fulton's left. Come here, come here, come here. We're under attack. Who wants a hug? Who else is awake? Shooting at me. 
this guy. This guy. Start talking. Where's the doorknob? Start talking. Where's the doorknob? Now, who's shooting at me? the doorknob. They're still looking for you. Silencio. Does this guy have a Houdini complex or what? Enemy security on the outside looks pretty tight. Which uh, somebody waking up. Understood. The enemy should still be nearby. Find him. Thoroughly search every possible hiding spot. We're dealing with a real escape artist here. Good God, oh. the man could swim his way out of Alcatraz. Oh. Over here? Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Where the heck? Clear. Understood. Return to base. We're gonna all start waking up. If any spot looks suspicious, tear it apart from top to bottom. Come over? I know I saw something. You can come over? Ah, we're under attack! <laughs> Thoroughly search every possible hiding spot. We're dealing with a real escape artist here. Dude, I'm freaking trying, Miller. Come and find him. Hmm? Who's out there? Oh. Not this one. Oh, I have to find him in a stupid Enemy house. Attack. All right. Going to alert status. Understood. Maintain heightened alert. Hmm? Who's out there? Hmm? You can't go peeking into houses with the oh. enemy on elevated alert. What? Why can't I do that? Did you check the houses? Miller, you Take just told inside. me I can't check the houses. Which one is it, huh? going on in there. Uh-oh. Does this guy have a Houdini complex or what? <laughs> See how long it takes to choke somebody out. Asking him where the doorknob was, but hey, where's that one passage I went through before? Search every inch of that area. I'm doing my best. Well, there's no door back here. Hear anything unusual? in there. <laughs> oh. I check this one already? 
<laughs> ah, wake up! I mean, don't wake up. Ugh. Don't stop. Sleeping? Not this one. What the heck? I feel like I've checked every freaking door. Why can't I find him? Not this one. What? Where the hell did the doorknob go this time? Of him and his don't freaking know, Miller. Why don't you ask him? Mama! <laughs> Check this one, didn't I? There's only like five blue doors. I've got a feeling about that area. Uh oh, he saw me. We're being shot at. Going He's to being shot at. Nobody's being Understood. shot at. Dispatching reinforcements. Proceed with extra caution. Is it like this area? You've got it made. Almost what there. the hell do you mean, Huey? Almost where? If any spot looks suspicious, tear it apart from top to bottom. We can't find the doorknob. Who's that? Some guy just sneezed? Security on the outside looks pretty tight, which means he must be. Good Come God, the man could swim his way out of Alcatraz. This is patrol. All clear. Understood. Return to base. I think it's that door. Oh crap, I need snacks. Put on my Doritos at the last second. Enemy sighted for Pango attack. Is the doorknob anywhere? Eliminate's gotta be there. Don't you think? I got scared. I know, I've been checking the blue doors. What I'm doing. I've literally Come checked almost every single this blue door. HQ. I'm just waiting. This is patrol. Target lost. Going to alert status. Understood. The enemy should still they, be Yeah, there. I got Come that. Thanks. The only other place he could hide would be those houses. Come in, HQ. This is HQ. This is patrol. Gotcha. All clear. Understood. Return to base. Curses. Curses. That was a good cutscene. I would have gotten away with it too. Yeah, that, that deserved to see. I got him, Kaz. <sighs> Slipped up again. Acknowledged. Bring him on in. That's where the follow can go, Khan. Alright, don't let Zadornov go on any more walks. Don't let him 
Don't let guards have nice dinners with the ladies. New plant. The doorknob, what is your deal? I am Vladimir the doorknob, and Vladimir means ruler of peace. Good for you. Put him in the mess hall. Chimpanzee. If I die, we'll meet again in the next life, as comrades. Bro, your stats are ass. You're short one guy tonight. Care to join us for a little game? It doesn't specify what kind of game. What do you think they're playing? Ah, uh, boss, glad you're here. We're short one guy tonight. Hog. Guy's very squeezable. Technology? Dude, you have zero tech stats. What are you even talking about? Food ain't bad here. Of course, nothing like my ma's. I like how I just I have a waiting room, so I just have all these guys just like sitting around. Okay. Oh, I just do the auto assign. I'll do like one more mission and then I gotta it's getting late oh yeah no I did that when I was moving them before the waiting room will eventually get full so we just gotta start chucking guys into the ocean oh it's the Puyan! Everybody was telling me about Puyan, and I got Puyan. Ooh, is that a camera mission? <gasps> oh, the missions are getting fun. Someone's planning to extract enemy soldiers via Fulton recovery. Me? Thwart their attempt by shooting down the balloons. We're calling this the Puyan mission. Support our troops. Puyan. Shoot those balloons. All right, we'll do Puyan. That'll be a good one to end on. Tell me about Puyan, cause. So all I have to do here is shoot down the Fulton recovery balloons, right? Right. And don't shoot the soldier dangling underneath by mistake. I'd go with a sniper rifle, but really any weapon will work as long as you aim carefully. <laughs> Balloon popping. <laughs> you might get more balloons if you do this one as a co-ops. The, uh, <laughs> sky's the limit. Look at it this Ew. way. It'd get real depressing real quick if every single mission were a bloodbath. It's good to have a nice, relaxing challenge like this once in a while, you know? Oh, come on, don't those Fulton balloons look tasty? Like big, juicy, floating pigs? Yeah, sure, whatever. So, <laughs> so this is called a Puyan mission. how he tries to get Boss to do stuff? What's that supposed to mean? When I was a kid, my neighbors had a pet pig they called Puyan. Every time I see a Fulton balloon, it reminds me of that little porker. Okay, but the objective okay. here is to pop those Shut balloons, up, right? Up doesn't sound like a good idea getting emotionally attached. Good point. Man, if only those were real pigs dangling from the balloons. Now wouldn't that be something? Buh. Buh. All right, um. You said sniper rifle, but I'm just gonna go in with a handgun and see what happens. And I'm gonna wear um, pink pants. This is my Puyan outfit. Let's rock. Big juicy hogs just waiting to be squeezed. Oh my god. 
god. I'm so happy right now. Guys surviving? It's like don't shoot the guys accidentally, but like I think that might have been a nicer way to let these guys go. survive the fall to their death. I like this music a lot. Guys, they're like about to be full into safety and we're just shooting them down. I think Kaz is maybe a little sadistic. He's like, don't accidentally shoot the guys. I want them to fall to their death. I want them to suffer. There's a trampoline. Phew. Maybe they just put a bunch of pillows down there. S rank Puyan. Alright. That's a good that's a good thing to end on. Puyan Master. I feel so accomplished. Like that more than anything else in this entire game. When am I going to do the VR missions? I don't know. I need to. Um, Eventually. I still have surprisingly a lot of Metal Gear games to play. Like I, I get like anxious that I'm going to run out of Metal Gear games, but I still have uh, quite a lot, honestly. Alright, cool. Well, I'll do it for this stream. Thanks for coming, guys. Um, impressive, Snake. I will be doing another stream this weekend. More Peace Walker. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for coming. I know some of you, it's a pretty crazy time out there, but I appreciate you coming and following and subbing and 
Poo yawning. Alright, have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Bye.